Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So this is Pramod Thorat and this is another Comshia A plus Core 2 exam practice test series and this practice test has 10 questions. So before you get start, don't forget to subscribe the channel to see more video like this. So let's go to the Core 2 exam practice test series part 3. So question number 1. As part of CIOD policy, assistant administrator needs to configure each user's Windows device to require a password when resuming from a period of sleep or inactivity. So which of the following paths will be lead the administrator to the correct settings? Option A is a use settings to access scene server settings. Option B is use settings to access screen timeout settings. Option C is use settings to access general. Option D is a use settings to access display. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is option A, use settings to access scene server settings. So let's move to the next question, question number two. The question number two is a technician is working with a company to determine the best way to transfer sensitive personal information between offices when conducting business. The company currently uses USB drives and is resistant to change. The company's compliance officer states that all media at rest must be encrypted. So which of the following would be the best way to secure the current workflow? So let's check the options. Option A is a deploy a secondary hard drive with encryption on the appropriate workstations. Option B is a configure a hardened SFTP portal for file transfers between file servers. Option C is a require files to be individually password protected with a unique passwords. Option D is enable BitLocker to go with a password that meets corporate requirements. So let's check the correct answers for this question. And the correct answer for the question is option D, enable BitLocker to go with a password that meets corporate requirements. So let's move to the next question, question number three. Question number three is the command cat comshare.txt was issued on a Linux terminal. So which of the following results should be expected? Option A is the content of the text comshare.txt will be replaced with a new blank document. Option B is the contents of the text comshare.txt would be displayed. Option C is the contents of the text comshare.txt would be categorized in alphabetical order. Option D is the contents of the text comshare.txt would be the copy to another comshare.txt file. So let's check the correct answers for this question. And the correct answer for the question is option B, the contents of the text comshare.txt would be displayed. So let's move to the next question, question number four. An incident handler needs to preserve evidence for possible litigation. So which of the following will the incident handler handler most likely to preserve the evidence. So option A is a encrypt the files. Option B is a clone any impacted hard drives. Option C is a contact the cyber insurance company. Option D is a inform law enforcement. So let's check the correct answer for the questions. And the correct answer is a B, clone any impacted hard drives. So let's move to the next question, question number five. So question number five is a technician needs to recommend the base backup method that will mitigate ransomware attacks. Only a few files are regularly modified. However, storage space is a concern. So which of the following backup methods would best address these concerns? Option A is a full. Option B is a differential. Option C is a offsite. Option D is a grandfather, father, son. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is differential. So let's move to the next question for the series, question number six. Question number six is, a technician is troubleshooting a customer's PC and receive a phone call. The technician does not take the call and sets the phone to silent. So which of the following best describe the technician's actions? Option A is avoid distractions. Option B is a deal appropriately with customer's confidential material. Option C is adhere to user privacy policy. Option D is a set at bit timelines. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is A, avoid distractions. So let's move to the next question, question number seven. So question number seven is a technician needs to transfer a large number of files over an unreliable connection. The technician should be able to resume the process if the connection is interrupted. So which of the following tools can be used? Option A is a SFC, option B is a CHKDSK, 
option C is a git clone, option D is a robo copy. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is D robo copy. So let's move to the next question, question number eight. Question number eight is, is a company install a new backup and recovery system. So which of the following types of backup should be completed first? Option A is a full, option B is a non parity option C is a differential, option D is a incremental. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer for this question is full. So let's go to the next question, question number nine. Question number nine is a user's smartphone data uses is well above average. The user suspects an installed application is transmitting data in the background. The users would like to be alerted when an application attempts to communicate with the internet. So which of the following best address the user's concerns? Option A is operating system updates. Option B is a remote wipe. Option C is antivirus. Option D is a firewall. So let's check the correct answer for this question. And the correct answer is a C, antivirus. So let's move to the last question for this series, question number 10. And the question number 10 is, a technician has been tasked with installing a workstation that will be used for point of sale transactions. The point of sale system will process credit cards and loyalty cards. So which of the following encryption technology should be used to secure the workstation in case of theft? So option A is a data in transmit inscription. Option B is a file inscription. Option C is a USB drive encryption. Option D is a disk encryption. So let's check the correct answer for this series. Correct answers for this question is D, disk encryptions. I hope you are enjoying this video. This part also is very helpful to pass the code to exams. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe the channel to see more video like this. I will upload next part shortly. Thanks for watching. Thank you.